Hello, welcome back, Jay Barino here. Starcraft Remastered, Rebel Yell, The Hammer Falls, the finale. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Korhal fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis. Receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. I'm gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who Arcturus will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have been sown. If we hope to uh, reach... To hell with you! You're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You'll regret that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. If you try to get the fleet is way, prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. The hell with him. We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis's primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Escape from Hoth. Shouldn't have Jim Rayner. It's all your fault. Let's just move up to the high ground right away. There's no point in sitting down here. We do have two tanks, which is nice. We just have to get to siege mode as fast as possible, and we will be quite well defended pretty early. We also have a boatload of Marines. There's not much we can do with this group right away, but what I'll probably do is very similar to what I did when I played through Mass Recall, which is to move out to the left and destroy the Sons of Korhal base, take their base for the extra income, and then... Defend, defend heavily over here, and then just focus on defending against Alpha Squadron, and then build a force to drop on the Ion Cannon. There are a lot of ghosts around the Ion Cannon that will lock down battle cruisers. Also, we just made mass battle cruisers, so I'm not going to do that again. That's kind of lame. So for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out and uh, and make this work. We also want to be careful with Jim. So let's just spread our, our forces out just a little bit. And we'll work our way up the tech tree. Okay, we need depots. Let's cancel all these while we do that. We have a couple to start out with. Let's just make two. And then we can get an academy early on, because if I don't, then I will probably forget to. Let's not build too close to... Let's just put that down there. I don't want to build too close to this wall, because I'm going to want turrets here, for sure. Again, StarCraft 1 AI will attack us where we least expect it sometimes, so that's why I'm going to be a little diligent with where I, I build certain things and make sure that we leave ourselves some space to maneuver where necessary. Gas, long-term, is going to be the major issue, so I'd rather just start harvesting a boatload of it now, like as much as possible. Again, we're going to have an excess of gas, but we're going to need all of it coming up here pretty soon. So it really doesn't hurt, I don't think, to just oversaturate this. I don't plan on moving out and taking another base until we go for Sons of Korhal. I think we can do all of this on one base. I won't focus on too many upgrades. I just want to get a group of units out, of mech units specifically, with one or two battle, one or two battle cruisers, and then four to five tanks, and we'll probably be able to take out the Sons of Korhal as we rally Marines up as well. Get a science vessel out there, which we need that as a prerequisite. We need a science facility as a prerequisite anyway to get to to a battle cruiser. so that's my plan. Is this fully saturated? It looks like it is. I think I've got three or four, S or, four or five SCVs on it at least. Okay. And we're going to need U-238 shells, and then we're going to start needing to make missile turrets like crazy. So first step is let's go ahead and grab a bunker right there. And we're going to need 
an engineering bay quite quickly so that we can detect any wraiths that decide to come in and also just have basic anti-air defense. The sooner the better. I'm trying to think of what we want to really do next. We have more than enough marines to stock inside bunkers, so I may make another bunker over here as well just to have it, but it's not entirely necessary. Okay, hop on in there, buddies. Let's grab... Let's actually grab an engineering bay. And then we'll do U-238 shells here when we can afford it, which is now. Again, just, just my harvest away at this gas, because that's going to be the thing long-term that we're going to need for sure. Okay, I suppose it doesn't hurt. Let's just make another bunker down here. We have a nice large area down here to build in, but I do have to make sure that I defend it properly, because they can siege up way over here. But if I attack the Sons of Korhal, we won't have to worry about that. So let's just get this, at least one of these set up. And focus on it later. Actually, let's cancel these, make a commsat station. And hotkey it. Okay, coming over here. More supply depots. Let's grab a factory to start making... Okay, never mind. We can't afford it. Hey, get out of there. Hop inside the bunkers. These fire bats are basically worthless at this point. Okay, so what we're going to do is start making turrets. Just around. Like down here. Upgrade complete. And over here. And up here. Cool. And then what I wanted to do was make a factory now. We want to make it in a place where things won't get stuck. I think that's acceptable. They'll spawn at the bottom and be able to go around the factory. So that's my plan. A few more turrets. Basic upgrades as well. We have U-238 shells, and then we can just start making... Well, we don't really have more minerals to make marines. Let's just focus on teching up for now. And we want to get that siege mode out as soon as possible. Maybe a little overboard on turrets right now, but they will be necessary. And we will get nuked eventually as well, which is a neat little addition to this map. I feel like a, a lot of the Terran campaign ends up being Terran versus Terran, but that's not necessarily true. It's kind of split between Terran versus Terran and then Terran versus Zerg with the one one mission against Protoss just to kind of give you an excuse to fight Protoss. But it's actually, I think that mission's quite well done uh, with the the way it's put together. Like, you don't want to fight the Protoss. Like, why are you fighting the Protoss? They're, they're cleansing the, the Zerg. Though I suppose the player may want to just because the Protoss have been killing they're destroying these colonies outright, which you'd hope they wouldn't do. But they do. Okay, let's throw down a starport. And hopefully tanks can spawn and get out of here. That's that's the goal. Okay. Looking good. Get mining. Keep mining. Where is a wraith going to come in and hit me from? Probably, like, right here. So let's get one turret here. And siege mode. Once we can get these tanks set up, I will feel quite safe. And then we'll get our science vessel out. We can make a science facility down here. It should be fairly defended, but my concern is the enemy will bring siege tanks and siege right here, and then we're screwed. Not screwed, but mildly irritated. <laughs> we can afford to have one more SCV on here. It's a mild waste, but I think it's fine. Okay, and as long as we, we react to when the enemy starts coming at us. What I'm going to do is actually build a tank and make sure that I can get out of here before I move too far out. Where can I build this? That makes sense. Because I, I do want to make battle cruisers. Let's do this and then move the barracks a little bit. We don't really need to utilize this ramp particularly. We can use this one. Or actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's just move the barracks up here. Is that siege mode that finished? It was. Okay, that's great. Let's go ahead and put this here. Get a tank set up right here. Get a tank set up over here. We've got two tanks set up over here, and then we've got our basic our basic defense. You can actually use the barracks to scout the units that are sitting up here, but I'd rather just go ahead and grab a, a science vessel to do that. More tanks. I don't really have any more room, unfortunately. Sons of Korhal are actually are attacking us from this direction. That's real weird. Get out of the way, please. Okay, he's cloaked. 
And I don't have a science vessel I can scan, though. You mother fucker. <laughs> Okay, this is going okay. And let's grab a science vessel. Actually, let's make two. One to bring with, one to bring with us, and one to leave at home for defense. Sounds good. And let's save our gas for right now, because we're going to need it, and then I'll just start making marines like crazy. Seems like a decent plan, and we'll make more supply depots. I think I've got more than enough SCVs mining right now. God, lockdown lasts forever. Maybe we'll make one more. Well, we'll just leave a science vessel to hover over this location, and then we'll bring another one with us. Okay. More tanks. And then a battle cruiser. Maybe two. We'll save up our gas and get one more. No no upgrades, though. Uh, no, no Goliaths. Goliaths would be a great addition here, though, I think. It's just the gas at this point. We can't really afford. So this... Actually, no, we don't really need to bring... We can just, as long as we're scanning, we don't need to bring... Or we don't need to leave a science vessel at home, rather. Typically, there's enemy units that sit up here. Yeah, see, like, there's one. Okay, well, we'll leave all this stuff sieged until it's time to go. So, I'm gonna cancel this other science vessel. I think it's, uh... It's too supply-heavy. Or, I'm sorry, too gas-heavy. What am I saying? It's just too gas-heavy to, to rely on right now. Let's see. Kind of run out of space here. I don't want to block my tanks in. Right there is probably the last area where we can fit. Yeah, we'll grab Yamato gun. And let's just get some basic upgrades here. If anything, I'd love to cram a an armory in here somewhere. Not a lot of space. Maybe right here. That would be fine. Okay, and I don't ever plan on moving ground units through this direction, so as long as I see, you know, a turret here to help me see ghosts that come in, I feel pretty good about that. Okay, we've got two battle cruisers que queued up, which means I can make more tanks, and then just lots of marines. So marine tank to clear out the first base. I'm gonna leave Jim Rayner. I'll bring the fire bats, because otherwise they're just gonna sit at home and die. We got plus two coming up. And again, I'm mostly out of space. If I build any further to the left, it's going to draw enemy units to attack me from the low ground. Or, I'm sorry, attack me from the high ground down on the low ground, which is a waste. I need to make sure my tanks can get out. Yeah, we've pretty much utilized all the space that we can here. I can make, I can make supply depots up here, though. Okay, one battle cruiser. My... My armory is done. We'll get vehicle weapons for tanks. One more turret probably doesn't hurt, to be honest. Let's just throw that down. And I think that was, yeah, our Yamato gun. Even a, th I mean, a third battle cruiser would not hurt. They're not, these guys are going nowhere. They're going nowhere. Anybody can see it. Okay, why don't you come on over here, repair our tanks. If anything, I would just want to spend my money on more tanks or a couple Goliaths, actually. I'd like to get another factory, but I have nowhere to fit it, particularly once we take this first expansion, we will be in really, really good shape. Did he just EMP me? You asshole. He's an asshole. Okay, second battle cruiser on its way, and then just keep making Marines. We will just bring a boatload of Marines. They get torn up by tanks, but if you bring enough of them... They can only stop, they can only stop so much. And waiting for basic upgrades. You know, I may, let's just throw down a save here. And I think let's just go and try to kill Sons of Korhal. The sooner we can, excuse me, the sooner we can do it, the better. It's no Norad 2, but he'll get rid of this guy. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's move on up. We have to get up these ramps, which is gonna be a pain. Receiving transmission. Destination. Okay, let's let's just scan around and see. There's no, there are no sieged tanks. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Okay, we got to move everyone up this ramp over here. Good, we got units to come over to us. Let's get everyone up here. 
we are stockpiling money while we do this, so let's just, I guess, hotkey the barracks and just keep making marines and rallying them up here. I'd rather save my gas, start getting some more battle cruisers. What do we have here? Oh, just a marine. I feel like like that's a large minimap indicator for one marine, let me tell ya. Okay, let's get the tanks to the front and make sure that we continue getting upgrades. Plus three. Attack is great. Let's bring all these fellas with us. And again, we're, we're blocking the Sons of Korhal from getting to us in particular, so. Okay, let's uh, scan here. We'll get him before this nuke lands, I'm confident. There we go, okay. They always nuke right there, that's how I knew. Okay, we gotta get down this ramp. Let's lead with the battle cruisers. And then move down the ramp, specifically with the tanks. This is where the unit pathing is gonna come into play. It's getting down here. And make sure we continue with our upgrades. Once we're down here, we can get into position and siege up and, and feel incredibly safe. I don't care if we get EMP'd. That's fine. Okay, we just have to get into sort of position. Start attacking their buildings, and then they'll come to us. And then once I find their... See, they'll, they'll have siege tanks. We just have to find them and destroy them. I mean, there's one right there. Get on top of him. Okay, it's already gone. That's good. So we didn't lose too much to that. We just have to be on the lookout for their siege tanks. I didn't bring Jim Rayner for good reason. And we're going to creep with tanks. There's another siege tank. He got us. But that's okay. This is why we brought... This is honestly why I brought a battle cruiser. Ow. Okay. One for one is fine. Let's rally on up here. We're gonna unsiege. We're actually gonna bring a couple SCVs up here to repair and set up some new defenses and a command center. Because I've basically wiped this area out. We just have to set our tanks up and, and take possession. Please hit their tanks. We're a little too clumped up here. Okay, and then everybody move on in. I had, a, I had fire bats, but they're all dead. That's about what I would have expected to happen, right? All, right? all you Marines got left behind. Let's make sure you rally up. Okay, there are still production structures that the Sons of Coral Hall have, but this is great. Okay, we have our science vessel. Now I can actually make a couple more, so let's do that, and then another battle cruiser soon. I need the gas. Just keep making Marines. I have a third battle cruiser that apparently I made, which I'm happy with. Okay, let's move on up here and check for tanks. Check for... No tanks. Okay, that's great. So that means... Let's just move on in. Yeah, cloak your stupid wraith. There we go. And then let's set up a command center here. Move all these units in, and we have done it. Sons of Korhal, pretty much off the map. For the most part. Not completely, but but mostly. And with that, we'll want to set up some defenses. Here and there. That should be fine. Alright, let's just get rid of this science vessel. It's caused us so much grief with its asshole EMPs. Okay, Sons of Korhal actually have a, a noticeable amount of stuff up here. Okay, really? There we go. All of you move on up here, clean this up. I'll unseach the tanks and move them around later. And then attack up here. We basically have the basis. We basically have the basis for our dropping force here. What I'm going to do is queue up a bunch of drop ships and hopefully we're on the move to finish this up here very soon. Okay, you guys hop in the bunker. Make turrets, and again, that's that's basically the end of the Sons of Korhal on this map. Not entirely, but mostly. Which I'm pretty happy about. Okay. Unsiege. Make a lot of tanks, and we're gonna drop them. We just need gas here. And I will rally SCVs up here with both of my command centers. Okay, and we'll just make also a bunch of turrets. 
And then let's go ahead and leave a science vessel here, because I don't want to get killed by Alpha Squadron nukes. I really don't. Let's keep going for our basic upgrades. All right, we got to get rid of this area up here, too. Let's just clean it all out. And then this as well, clean it all out. We don't have to, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, that's just Sons of Korhal dropships. We don't care about them. And then just set up some extra tanks just in case. We're not going to need too many, but I'm just setting them up so that if Alpha Squadron decides to attack us in a weird direction, we'll be ready for it. Okay, but really, get out of here. <laughs> I could get another armory just to have better and faster upgrades. In fact, I will. I don't think that would hurt. Can make it over here. Okay, and I think now we just want to go ahead and set up a bunch more production structures and just rally everything up here, and this is where we're going to drop from. Yeah, and now we've got income forever. So just make the marines... Make another barracks up here as well, so we can produce faster, and we'll make another factory. And then depots. I already have a nice-sized army, so I am about ready. I just need the dropships, so that should be fine. Did I just make a... I thought I heard more battle cruisers. No, that's not the case. Colossus reactor can't hurt, I don't think. What I'll do is I can take my battle cruisers and start Yamatoing the edge. There's again, there's so many ghosts on this map that it does not make sense to really, it doesn't really make sense to focus on uh, on battle cruisers. They all get locked down. It's incredibly annoying. So just don't don't do it. <laughs> I would highly recommend against it. Okay, Marines rallying up. I can make fire bats just to be funny on this map, but I'm not going to. Uh, vehicle plating. Again, my ship weapons and plating not very important here, so I'm not focusing on it. Okay, let's just make Goliaths out of this of this guy, and then down here, this will just be tanks. Insufficient Vespine gas. Insufficient Vespine gas. I already have it. I think I have more than enough infantry here. Okay, get mining. Got more than enough guys on gas. Probably one too many. I have four drop ships. I think I could go for more. I have more queued up, so yeah, I'm in really good shape. I'm on. I'm on track to finish this with, I think, time to spare. And well, there's always time to spare on these maps. I'm just saying, like, above par time. Granted, I have no idea what par time is. I'm making this up entirely. Yeah, I kind of just waiting for upgrades to be honest. I don't like waiting too much for upgrades, but it, it really couldn't hurt as we go and assault the ion cannon. We just want to move on in and Yamato turrets to allow us a good landing zone. So that is what I'm going to do. Pew pew! The Yamato gun, I feel, is very satisfying to use. Very, very satisfying to use. Just keep making depots, please. Can I take your order? I'd like to drop on the high ground, but that's kind of dicey. I probably shouldn't risk that. I think I got EMP. Yeah, see those ghosts right there? They're just waiting to be assholes. Okay, looking good. I'm, I'm fairly confident we have what it takes. Well, uh, we can bring... I don't think we even need to bring SCVs. God, I hit escape! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Jim Rayner's safe at home. We got two tanks. That should be more than enough to defend against anything at the uh, Dominion sending. But I could also lay down some spider mines for Alpha Squadron, just in case. There we go. Hey, get out of here. No, no, don't let them. They're trying to bring ghosts over here. No! <laughs> it's begun. This is my chance. If you kill those ghosts, I don't think they rebuild them. So all we gotta do is move up here. Destroy this stuff. Actually, here comes Alpha Squadron. They're trying to move in. Blow up our spot here. Yeah, get rid of these guys. There we go. And that's actually all the ghosts. I could repair my battle cruiser just so he's in better shape to support us. We load up and we drop and we win. Okay, I have science vessels. Where are they? I had another science vessel. Where is it? You motherfuckers. Get out of here. 
destroying my my precious supply depots. All right, fine, just scan. My battle cruisers are what I would like to move down here and get rid of these tanks. Oh my god, I'm supply blocked. It's okay. We'll build we'll build the supply depots up here this time because it seems like Alpha Squatch wants to be assholes. This is a great example though of where the, the AI just decides to be jerks. Like where did they come from? They came through here. Actually, they, I think they came up and around. I have no idea how they got here. They must have come this way and then just instead of attacking directly towards my base, they went a different way. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Let's start loading up. I think some of my I think one of my fire bats from the initial attack is still alive. I'm pretty happy about that. And if those ghosts are gone, because the again I've I've talked about this so many times, but the StarCraft AI is so reactive, it will it gets very upset with you if you attack towards them, such that they will they will move units from all over the map to try to stop you from wherever you're attacking. It's actually really funny. And you can exploit that to a degree. Okay, let's get over here. We have a boatload of stuff. Let's just unload it at the on the low ground. It's not worth really risking it. Mr. Firebat, you're a hero. Okay, you back up. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Okay, did I bring a science vessel? I don't think I did. I, I built an extra one. He must be still at home. We gotta move up. I think we pretty much have a clear path here, so let's just let's just move on in. Did we get EMP'd as well? Oh, I never got to, you know, it's because I never got Behemoth Reactor. Alright, you all move in. I don't need the dropships here anymore. You guys just go home. Okay, and we're there. Again, because Alpha Squadron was mad that we attacked a, one of their buildings. We hit this missile turret, so they're like, how dare you? And then they decided to bring pretty much all the defenses from the platform over to destroy us, which is hilarious. Pew, pew. Okay, let's just move on in. We got some tanks backing us up so we can just attack up here. Yeah, and uh, actually Alpha Squadron from across the map will also try to reinforce, but it doesn't matter. Okay, good work, Yamato, this jerk. Our battle cruisers are somehow alive. They're they're very low health. I never took the time to repair them, but that's okay. Cool, and we did it. I didn't even watch the ion cannon get destroyed, but apparently it happened. Alright, let's watch let's watch the epilogue here. How did we do? We killed him! Murdered the score. Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare Zerg. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. 
No matter the cost indeed, Arcturus. All right, that's the Terran campaign. It's quite exciting. I'm, I'm still deciding what I want to do with the upload schedule. As I had mentioned in the past, I've got some time off here from work where I have friends coming and staying in town and then going to be on vacation. So just going to be probably playing through at least half of the Zerg campaign as well uh, until I come back and decide what's going on with the schedule. I kind of want to incorporate a, a semi-grand StarCraft playthrough where we play through all of Remastered. Then we play through StarCraft 2, and then we also revisit some stuff and remaster, like maybe Enslavers and Insurrection, which Vorgaz has been touching up so that it's not as awful as, it, as its uh, original iteration. So I think that could be a fun idea for just its own series, which is vanilla StarCraft in a way. And then I will start some new StarCraft 1 custom campaigns pretty soon. StarCraft 2 is tricky because there's not that much left to play, but there's a few things. So I will I will do some digging when I return and figure out what that will be. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye now.